Welcome back to Living Local. If you're looking for something to keep the kids busy during spring break, look no further than the Botanical Center. They have some fun events planned to keep the kiddos entertained and engaged. And joining us in studio today is Heather Blue, Education Manager at the Botanical Center. Thank you so much for being here, Heather. I'm very excited to come today and talk a little bit about some of the fun activities we have planned for spring break week. Yeah, let's talk about all these events that you have planned and what parents can expect if they sign their kids up and um, you know who the classes are for. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have three different classes that we're offering during the week of March 13th. And uh, what this will do is let the kids engage with uh, different sand themed activities and uh, have some plant activities going along with them as well. So we have three different ones. Uh, the first one will be a uh, air plant terrarium where okay. the kids will get to build a little air plant terrarium that they can take home with them as well. The second one will be a zen garden, get a little bit of mindfulness and relaxation <laughs> going on with that one. And then the last one is a sand art a succulent terrarium as well. Okay. Um, and that's for kids aged four and up for the uh, air plant terrarium as well as the zen garden. Okay. And for kiddos age as six and up for the sand art terrarium. Okay. So are these all, these are all geared towards kids. Can the parents join in as well? Or is this mostly just for kiddos? We do ask to keep this one focused on the youth just okay. to make sure that they have the most fun and engaging time as they can. For sure. All right. Um, so if a lot of us, we can't get away to the beach during spring break, but the Botanical Center is bringing the sand and the sun to Rock Island. So tell us about the, the sand and the sun garden for the kiddos. Yeah, so our sun garden is a beautiful tropical atrium that we have on our site that houses all sorts of tropical plants from around the world. Things like banana, coffee, cacao, um, all sorts of amazing things. And we actually have a fantastic pile of sand that's located in the center of our sun garden. So if you wanna get a little bit of sunshine and your toes in the sand, yeah. you can do it right in our own little tropical oasis. No matter what the temperature is outside. I love that and, and kids love playing in the sand and, and building things and you know having all those toys there too. Okay so your first event you have planned is the air plant terrarium. Uh, that's coming up on Monday right? Yes Monday, okay. March 13th. So for those who aren't familiar with air plants uh, tell us a little bit about this event and what the kids will be making. So the air plants are a type of plant it's super interesting they don't actually have to have their roots in soil they grow on top of other plants and they get all the nutrients and water that they need from the air around them cool. which is a ton of fun. So this is a little plant that can just um, live inside of this nice little bowl with a little bit of sand in it has some little fun little other little trinkets and decorations inside of it so the kids will make their own little home their own little terrarium for this unique plant and have it live in their own home. We'll teach them how to take care of it, make sure that they can have it live and thrive. Oh, I love that. I think my kids would love that. It, it almost doesn't even look real. <laughs> They're super fantastic. They come in lots of different shapes, forms, and textures, and we'll be showcasing some of our own collection that day as well. All right. Okay, so next is the Zen Garden. Um, when is this event happening, and, and how will kids, you know, kind of make their own garden? How does that work? So this is Wednesday, March 15th, and okay. on that one, we'll be doing a little bit of mindfulness. So we're going to get the sand out. We'll play a little bit more with this one. This is a little bit more of, of fun going on, but the kids will kind of build their own little sand garden where they'll get to be able to have some little trinkets inside of it. We'll make a little bit of sand art inside of it, maybe make some shapes and designs inside that and have a little bit of uh, relaxation that the kiddos can take home with them and have a little bit of a play space that they can do. Yeah, and I think they like to see their creation, you know, at home too yeah. and, and show that off to the parents. Uh, your last event the kids will learn about are the different types of sand. I think some people forget there's all these different types of sand um, and make a cool piece of art like this one, right? Absolutely. So we've got a great showcase that, that is looking at different sands around the world. We've been having that showcase in our lobby throughout the, the duration that the sand has been here. But then we're going to use different colored um, types of sand, different colored sands, and we'll actually build a beautiful multi-layered sand art exhibit. And uh, at the top of it, top it off with a beautiful little succulent that'll live inside of it. So this is a little bit more challenging. That's why we have it for slightly older kiddos uh, looking at those that are uh, six and up. Yeah. But it's a very unique piece of art that can then live in your home and yeah. thrive and have a really fantastic fun. And so do, they, can they pick their own colors? They can put them wherever they want, yes. right? Yeah, we'll have a variety of colors and um, really let it be, let the creativity shine. Right, time. right. Oh, I think the kids would really like that. And it is beautiful. It really is. Okay, and this is on the 17th, That's right? on the 17th, on Friday the 17th, correct. Okay, so how can parents register and, and find out more information? Absolutely. So all the registration information can be found on our website at qcgardens.com. Okay. And that's a great place to go to find anything going on at the gardens. All right, yeah, so what else is happening? You guys always have something going on. <laughs> always something going on. So the gardens are always changing, ever blooming. So things are starting.
starting to pop up for springtime, as well as the, the always, it's always beautiful in the sun garden any time yeah. of year. So you can right. always pop in and check that out. Um, we always have Explorers Club that are coming up as well. Those are 15 to 20 minute sessions that showcase um, fun and exciting things that are happening in the garden. So you can always look at that. Um, summer camps are going to be coming up soon uh -huh. as well. So yep. that's another thing to keep an eye out for our website as well to look at any of that information as it might be coming. Um, plant sale is going to be coming up as well. So oh, if you're thinking a good time. beautiful spring thoughts as we all are, that's yes. something else that you can also keep an eye out on the website for too. So qcgardens.com is definitely the place to be looking for anything that might be happening in our um, neck of the woods. All right. And to sign up as well, right? Absolutely. Okay. Well, Heather, I love these events for the kiddos. Thank you so much for showing these off today and, and coming in. Yes, we appreciate the opportunity and look forward to seeing you all soon. All right. For <laughs> more information on the classes offered during spring break, head over to qcgardens.com. And we'll also have all those details posted on ourquadcities.com. More Living Local continues after the break. Stay with us.